Do the more. Do the more. Do the more. Do the more. Niggas tryna flex like Mar. Fuck bitches, no X like Mar. Pull up and that way. Lil Mar, no, for real. That way. Yo, welcome back to the YouTube video, guys. And I finally got a chance. As you guys see right behind me, I'm at the Corvette Museum here in Bowling Springs. Or is it Bo it's Bowling Green? I'm sorry. Bowling Green, Kentucky. Um, it was only like a seven, eight hour drive uh, from Columbia, South Carolina. But um, I, I was supposed to go like a long time ago, but you know, I never got the chance to uh, actually get here. But I did not actually take the drive here. As you see, I got a U Haul and I towed it here. So um, that is going to be a lot of fun. There's not really any event going on today. I just wanted to, you know, finally. Uh, see this place because you know i never got to come here and i've had my corvette for uh a while now but oh wow they, they actually allow trucks here too that's pretty cool i, I could have been see i could i didn't even know that actually i could have been came here in the truck i never knew that um i just found that out because <laughs> i i've actually driven through here a lot of times um in my to my truck uh, but i was just like i never knew uh where i would actually park the truck so and i was gonna plan on uber but i did not know that they allow Send my truck to park here. That is so that I just learned something new. But um, yeah, uh, they open in about 15, 20 minutes. So I'm gonna just go in here and uh, like I said, there's no event going on. I'm just gonna like walk around and see what it all, all is in there. I know they have some type of simulator, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna try that out and just um, see what all they got in here. So I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, guys. So I'm in here right now, and they mostly just got a bunch of like C8s in here at the front. Um room I, th I think these are the ones that people have actually won um because they do these raffles here at this museum uh, like every month they have like they give away a free corvette but it's like um the raffle tickets like 300 bucks to enter, so um, i really like this blue one right here this convertible this is probably my favorite one in here right here Especially the blue interior, that shit hard. But, um, I think there's another room in here or something because this is all there is in this room. But I know this um, building is much bigger than this, so I just gotta walk around. And I also signed up for the um, simulation thing, so I'm gonna go try to figure out where to do that at. All right, guys, so I just did the racing simulator. This was pretty cool. They just put you in this little yellow C6 here. <laughs> Thank you. Pretty cool. All right, guys. So that simulator was actually really goofy. Um, not even gonna lie. It, it, I, I, I was like, like it was basically just when I like it just like when I played PS5 or just like a regular racing sim. Um, it would have been cool if it was like a, a C8 though, or at least a C7. C6 is kind of outdated, but um, now I'm in the um, actual admission area for the, uh, like these were all the Corvettes. So I'm gonna flip the camera, show you guys what all is in here. Got some really classic ones right here. We got the 1947 MGTC. I have no idea what that is. Got this little cool van over here. Oh, this was actually a concept car. Then we got the uh, 1951 Crosley Super Sport. I'm not really a fan of classic cars, to be honest. I mostly like the newer cars, to be honest with you. But yeah, so like I said, this is the exhibition area. Everything out front was mostly just the um, like stores and stuff like that to buy stuff. But uh, now we're at the cool area, so we're gonna check all this out. So we got a 1953 Corvette. And a 1955 Ford Thunderbird. All right guys, so they got these really old style gas pumps here. These are from the 1950s. Wow. How do you even sense per, oh wow, cents per gallon, that's crazy. Imagine if gas was still cents per gallon. That would be awesome. But um, we got a 1957 Corvette and then the 1961. I don't really read all this stuff, but it does. It mostly just talks about like how the body styles change between the years and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna 
walk a little bit further. So what's this? I, I didn't really look at this over here. I think this is the actual engine. Oh yeah, this is the V8. Oh wow, that's awesome. Oh, I like that color of this one over here. Oh, they haven't even started this yet. It says it's coming in 2023. Oh wow, they got a garage over there. Of the Corvette assembly. This was in 1973. Wow. And then some more. So the further you walk, the older they get. See, now we're at the 1973s. Oh, and this was a this was a Stingray too. I actually really like this body style, to be honest. Like I said, I don't really like the older Corvettes, but this one's actually pretty cool. I actually really like these right here. These are like race cars, to be honest. Well, I'm pretty sure they are race cars. These are actually really cool. All right, guys, the moment I've been waiting for, we at the C7s. And this one is the one that's in Gran Turismo. I like that one too, to be honest. Man, that shit is hard. I want to I wanna drive this one. I'm about ready to hop in this bitch. Is it a manual? Oh yeah, that's a manual. I don't even know how to drive it. <laughs> shit. I was saying this one right here looked like a damn rocket ship, bro. The way that thing right there, that looked like a damn rocket ship, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. And it's number one. That shit hard, though. And this one over here just looks really, it looks really unique, especially with the, is that like four? They, I like how they put the mufflers on the side like that. That's pretty cool. That's 1961. But it's like so, like, I didn't really realize, like, the actual history behind Corvettes. Like, no one's gonna have a whole museum. There's so much behind it, bro. Like, this. There's so much in here, bro. Like I, I can't even show y'all all of this because it's just crazy. Is this a concept car? Oh, this was in 1966. This looked like a futuristic car. This really, well, this looks really futuristic for real. All right, guys. So I just learned something. I'm looking at these C8s, and I did not know that they made a right-hand drive C8. Well, I think they do that everywhere, though, with every car. Well, see, Corvette's an American brand, so I thought they would have all been on the, the other side. Or am I tweaking? I don't know, man. But these are my favorite Corvettes right here. The C7s and the C8s. Uh, what's this back here? We got the 1965 XP 819. Why do you got it in the garage back here? Oh, oh, build your own Corvette? Hold on now. I'm, a, I'm about to try that. That's actually crazy. I thought this was like a wrecked car or something. I didn't even know what this was. What the hell? Is this supposed to be like... Where the hell am I? Oh, some games. I thought, I, I thought this was turning into a haunted house. All right, guys, I just left out. Uh, that was about the end of the tour. I walked pretty much through every single room. Um, I couldn't take a video of everything, of course, because there was a lot in there, but um, I got most of the interesting stuff. Um, so yeah, that was pretty cool. You know, I mean, I got to, I didn't really learn anything because I didn't really read none of the, the things. Except for really that um, that one I was showing you uh, about the um, the uh, what was it the, the the red Corvette the one that had fell through that sinkhole that one was pretty interesting um, 
yeah there, there was some there was some interesting stuff in there but um you know i'm mostly into the newer the newer c8s and stuff like that and the c7s I don't, i'm not really interested in all the old school corvettes but it was still cool to you know drive by and finally get to see um what you know what all was in here but um hopefully at some point i'll actually get to come to an event here you know um and get to show off mine because i just got it parked over here i mean most people can't even see it because i got it parked over here in the oversized parking area um so you know the, the real parking lot's over there and around the corner so um you know there's only there's only three oversized vehicles over here right now so most people probably didn't even get to see mine i really like you know showing off my car and stuff but you know this wasn't the type of event for that. I just wanted to come through and check out the actual museum. So um, I did have a good time though. That was pretty cool. Um, you know, seeing all those cool, like old, you know, just, just all the, you know, old school Corvettes. Cause I really didn't know much about Corvettes. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to click the subscribe button down below. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the real Omar. Follow me on Snapchat, Wolo Omar. And yeah, nah, for real, that way. Yeah.